This is what you won. Yeah. The CMP Trophy. 2011 UK Strongest Man. What did it mean to you winning that, mate? Um, it meant a lot because obviously I've beat myself up a lot since winning the Englands and uh, I didn't qualify for the Worlds. Yeah. Uh, which, you know, I was really pissed off about, really. Yeah. But, um, but, you know, it's it, it's shut a few people up. You know, I, I, I said I was going to win it, I delivered. You did deliver. What more, what more can I do? Let's really? talk Let's talk about that a minute then. Yeah. You know, as you say, you, you've delivered the goods. Um, you are, if you don't mind, Mind me saying, you are like Marmite. Yeah, yeah. People either love you or hate you. Yeah. There's a few people that hate you, and a few, you know, you look at the social network sites and everything else, and people talk about you, Ed, and yeah. everything else. So let's put it straight right now, okay? Um, you know, you said you was going to win, you delivered. What have you got to say to them people that maybe, you know, maybe, I say hate you, that's a, that's a strong word, and that's not true, that there's no one, that no one knows you well enough to hate you, yeah. or maybe that is a problem, maybe it's because they don't know you, yeah, yeah. but you know, some people said you'll be getting lack of respect to other competitors or yeah, the sport, yeah. what, what have you got to say about that, what do you, you well, know? In my, in my opinion, if you go into a competition thinking, he's better than me, he's better than me, being humble, yeah. in my eyes, in a competition, that doesn't get you anywhere. Okay. Where, where are you going to get your testosterone from? Like, testosterone from? No, you're no, just sitting yeah. there, like, you know. Um, yeah. I go into the competition. Yeah, I am. I'm, in a, I'm a big Eddie. Yeah. I don't, I don't fucking care. Yeah. I say I'm going to win it, and I fucking win it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. People yeah. don't like that. Fuck off, basically. Okay. Yeah. And, and there was a, another comment. The strongest shoulders, was it the strongest shoulders in England? Yeah. Uh, in Britain? I said England and then the, the commentator said UK. Okay, strongest shoulders in the UK. You still go with that? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's one of them, innit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just putting I'm it out there. Yeah, yeah, as I said, <laughs> technique wise, like Lawrence has got the axle record. I think, is it Dave Mir's got the log press record? Yeah, I think he has, and he don't think Dave Mir might. Yeah. In my eyes, that is technique. That's yeah. bouncing and you know, ducking and getting yeah. it up. I think on a on a strip press in a bench, dumbbell axle, whatever. I think I'm up there. Yeah. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm going to be England's strongest shoulders or whatever. In, in fairness, when you, you that was just come off an event, that was just on the buzzing, TV. Buzzing, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was buzzing. I just, yeah. It was just for TV. The public want to hear it. So yeah. I said it. Well, I've, got, I've got to be honest. I've come down here today, and I've, I've never met Ed before today. I've spoke to him a couple of times, at, you know, on, on Facebook and everything else. And I, I come down today, and I've got to say, and I'm not just saying this because I do say how I find people. He's been absolutely top draw, a lovely host. He's welcomed us up here. Been followed him around training. You'll see some of the training in a minute. But, you know, you've looked after us, Ed, and, and thank you, mate, because you're not, you know, you're not the person that some people may think you are. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you're not this big-headed fella who's egotistical and everything. Maybe in a in a competition, and that that's how you come across, or maybe that's how you're portrayed, or that's how you may want to portray yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Listen, in every sport, you know, there's always been the bad guy. Yeah. You know, uh, we go back, we go back. Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks, for those that are old enough to remember that, you're way too young no, for that, Ed. I'm going to spit it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you understand what I mean? So maybe if, you, if you're the bad guy, well, maybe there's room for, you know, there's room for a bad guy in the sport, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I think there's definitely room in the sport for it all, and I think there's a lot of people out there, Ed, looking to beat you, looking, you know, and, that's, and you're looking to beat a lot of people, so surely competition's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, competition. As I said, you know, I get in my game mode, out of competition, I'm just a normal 23 year old lad. Yeah. You know, I work, I come to the gym. Yeah. I've got, a, I've got a wife at home, I've got a kid. Of course you have. got a kid on the way. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm Congratulations, a, I'm a placid guy, really. Yeah. yeah. Is that the end all then? That's, that's the end all. Yeah, yeah. People come up to me, oh, you're the strongest man, take a picture. Yeah, I'll take a picture, you ever sign a photo? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not right. arrogant or anyone or nothing no. like that. Yeah, but let's say on the internet, I will be. You know, I've got to, I've got to keep me in the strongman game. I've got to keep my that stature of being a, a Spartan, as I say on the okay, TV. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Fight to the end. Yeah, fight yeah, to yeah. the end. Yeah, and why, and why not? And and let's talk further ahead now from the UK. Let's talk. Let's talk to. Let's talk the future. You know, um, where's it going to take it all? UK strongest man. Obviously, you're going to obviously defend your title next year. Yeah, I'll probably go back and defend the UK's next year. Yeah. Yeah, I think Anything so. Anything else? Are you going to look at the worlds? Uh, yeah, I'm going to look towards the worlds. I mean, 
this year just gone, I had one chance against the Worlds, one qualifier, yeah. and I, I fucked up, I pulled out. Yeah. I was too far from the previous competition the week before. Yeah. Um, is that why? Is that why you pulled out? Yeah, it yeah. Just, just for tape. Yeah. Six, I mean, it was six days after the Englands, and the Englands was a heavy competition. It's gonna take it. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. heavy competition. No, yeah. no one would deny I mean, you that, mate. Yeah. I did. Uh, I did the Englands, then I did a week's hard training. Ooh, Lawrence Shall I actually emailed me on the Wednesday before and said, uh, you know, if you if you're going Sunday, you will qualify for the Worlds. So. Yeah. Whereas Darren Sadler, who ran the competition. Put it into my head that maybe you know you might go the worlds, you might not. So I got it in my head, you might not. Yeah. Because people just say that to get you there, and then okay. you know. So yeah. I went. I wasn't psyched up. I didn't know till the Wednesday before. It, it just wasn't my day, so I pulled out. Okay. If you weren't your day, weren't your day, mate. That's, that's, it. that's fair enough. That's it. So next year, if the worlds, you're going to do the worlds qualifying? I'm going to do as many as I can. Yeah. As, yeah. as, as soon as I qualified, obviously I won't do any more. But I'm going to do as many. Uh, competition against Lawrence and Terry and that as it can. Get, yeah. Try and get in there. Superb, mate. Superb. Listen, Ed, thanks for having us down here. Thanks for bringing the wow. trophy along for us. And thanks ever so much, mate. No problem. For all, all your hospitality. Nice and to good meet. luck for 2012, mate. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Thank you, Ed. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Ed All, UK's strongest man, and this is Voice of Strongman TV. Watch it.